see how uh, our batteries uh, uh, will be running. Of course, she loves running from the front. Uh, she loves running from the front. And off they go. As usual, Beatrice is uh, leading, is, uh, running. she's running from the front. And uh, of course, with a little girl, Faith Cheroti, who is a World Under 20 champion. And uh, of course, we have Jacqueline, who is the Commonwealth, Commonwealth Games champion. So uh, they are running well right now. Lea Jeruta is also there. It's, it's the first lap. We have more than uh, seven laps to go. And uh, how the race will unfold. It's 3,000 meters steeplechase. Of course, uh, for many years, Kenyans have been doing well. I'm happy uh, Chemos was, was here. She has been an inspiration to this athlete. She, may, she, she set the pace. She's a former world champion. And uh, running here and running the office as an athlete representative, she has been able to mentor many athletes, of course. And uh, we will be able to see who will make the team. Of course, uh, with the first two to cross the line. And of course, the third athlete will be decided by the panel. And as, as you've seen, uh, Chepko uh, loves running from the front. And uh, she's a world record holder, having ran 8.55, 8.55.40. And uh, she's being closely followed by a young Faith Cherotic. Young Faith Cherotic comes from Kericho and has been training in Kericho, a former student of Kaliet Secondary School. Then we have uh, Jacqueline Chepko, the Commonwealth Games champion. Jacqueline is, uh, trains in Kaptagat uh, under coach Patrick Sang at the Global Sports Communication. So uh, already you've seen the four athletes have uh, they've searched for and uh, there is a gap between the fourth and the fifth athlete. Uh, that shows you the magnitude of uh, of the race here. It, 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 the race is going to be competitive and uh, of course. Uh, they are trying to also get that qualification so that they can be able to compete at the Olympics. Greg. Thank you, Bernard. As we head towards the last six laps of this 3,000 meter steeplechase, uh, it is the first event of the afternoon session here at the Nyao National Stadium, and that is Beatrice Chepkoech. The world record holder in the 3,000 meter steeple, just taking the lead as usual. Faith Cherotich in the mix also. She knows how to keep it toe to toe, stride to stride, stride for stride, sorry, with anyone that comes her way. And it's something that is happening here. Of course, the five more laps to go in the 3,000 meter steeple, just, and you can see the field already starting to uh, take shape. Three athletes in the lead and only one athlete in the chasing pack. And this signals something very, very special. But what catches my, uh, my attention is three athletes from the same, um, <laughs> the same management actually taking the lead. And it tells us something about the staple chase. Is it something that has been inspired by Beatrice or just a good team that trains together? <laughs> yeah, I had, I had not noticed that. Uh, indeed, it's uh, from the same uh, management. But interestingly, they all uh, train from different areas. Uh, uh, currently, Beatrice is training in Gong. He used to train in Kericho. And then we have uh, Faith with training in Kericho. And, and then, of course, uh, Jacqueline doing it from Kaptagat. Uh, but they are from the same management. Now, uh, Jacqueline has gone to the front and uh, she has taken the lead. At the, at the fourth lap. So, uh, so uh, looking at the race, looking at the race, as I told you earlier, as I, I mentioned earlier, Greg, uh, Peruth Chemutai has a lead time. And actually, uh, she's, the, she's the Olympic champion. She's trying to defend her, champion, uh, her title, I mean, uh, at the Olympics. So uh, she managed to run uh, best time, that was uh, 8.55.09. At, at the Hayward Field, Eugene, in Oregon. That is where Kenyan sell their 10,000 trials also. So she, she managed to run the best time. And then, of course, she, uh, she, uh, 
this season, Bitsuit Chepoet is the second one with 855.40. We have Faith Cherotich, the young girl. She, uh, she's the third, the third this season with eight, uh, 904.45. And then we have uh, Ethiopian uh, Sembo Almayu, who is, also, who is fourth. And they all, they all got uh, their personal best at Hayward, except uh, Bitsuit Chepoet, who, who ran at the Egret Stadium in China. Of course, the Diamond League. Uh, so the Diamond League for these athletes is very, very much important because you'll find there are places like Oregon, which has a very, very fast field. So they'll be able to get that time when they, they compete in such a, uh, such a event. Then, of course, uh, number seven in the world this season is an athlete who is a, who is a student in USA uh, doing a scholarship program. Uh, she's called uh, Doris Lemgole. She's come, she comes from West Pocot. And of course, uh, she managed to. She was, uh, I think, she was uh, seventh in the at the Hayward. I think so. Uh, no, no, no. She was first in an event, that's a school event at in Oregon, the NCAA, NCAA uh, event that uh, concluded there recently. So you see, even athletes, uh, student athletes, are doing well. She went to the to the U.S. through scholarship. And uh, so we are waiting to see how this, with three laps to go, we are waiting to see how the, the, the race will, will unfold. Because you can see now, Faith is leading even with Beatrice. This young lady is going to places. And of course, Faith and Beatrice having nice exchange, uh, exchange of words there. I think it's all about teamwork. It's all about wanting to make sure that the ticket is uh, secured safely. Faith, of course, the youngest of the leading pack born in 2004. Jacqueline Chepkoet still hanging in there, of course, coming in. 9 minutes, 19.64. And of course, we are talking about the standard time. 9 minutes, 23 seconds. Will they manage earning that here at the Nyao National Stadium? But then it's Beatrice who runs the way she likes from the front. And Faith Charotich, of course, uh, just closing in, and you can see she has bright years ahead of her. Jacqueline Chep quite falling away, away quite um, some distance between uh, Jacqueline and the leading pack that, and those are also the chasing pack in this one into the pool of water as we wait to see who will hit the bell first in this 3,000 meter steeple chase. Remember, this is a final event, no two chances about it, and it's all happening here at the Nyao National Stadium. And right now it is Jacqueline Chepkoech, Cherotich leading Beatrice Chepkoech, Jacqueline currently in third place. Um, Faith just shows you why she's being, being named one of the most looked, uh, sought after athletes in this one. The 20 year old, she's turning 20 actually on 13th of July. Faith Cherotich and Beatrice Chepkoech uh, in this 3000 meter steeple just as they hit the barrel. It's been quite a fast one. And it's all about who takes the position one and two. Remember, they are all in the bracket of, and ready to qualify for this one. And it is Faith who takes the, the who hits the front for the first time right now. Beatrice looks stronger in second. Jacqueline still lagging in third, but it's a battle between the two. The experience versus the upcoming. It's, uh, Faith versus Beatrice heading into the last bend on the 150. Who takes the mantle? But of course, it's, it's all about the ticket to Paris. And it is Beatrice and Faith into the last pool of water as they take the bend. It is Beatrice in second currently and Faith leading all the way. And they seem to be really relaxed heading into this one because it's all about securing. And it is Faith versus Beatrice as they ease their way to the finishing line, and it is Faith Cherotich just piping Beatrice Chepkoech to win that one. Jacqueline Chepkoech on the other side will claim third in this 3,000 meter steeple chest. 9.22.29. An official time, of course, we'll be getting the confirmation, but it's all about securing the slot. And of course, Faith, the young Faith, has actually made it to Paris. <laughs> She made it so easy. She was strolling <laughs> to, to, to the finish line. 
and uh, that was a good race. Of course, uh, Faith winning today, and uh, they have a lot of, uh, they have a mountain to climb. Perus Chamrai from Uganda, uh, she, she, she's currently on top form, and uh, she's doing well. So these athletes have uh, some work to do, and maybe, maybe they will, it, it will be to their advantage, maybe they, if they will be, the three of them together, battling it out for the top positions. And uh, I'm happy because, uh, as you've said, uh, Faith is a, a promising upcoming athlete, who, and at least you've seen here today, it's really good uh, winning at, uh, at home, and of course, we don't know if this, if this will replicate at the, at the, at the Olympic Games uh, in, in July and August. Of course, we'll be waiting to see if that replicates during the Paris 2024 Olympics that come your way from the 26th of this month. And the athletes being ushered in as we look at how Faith Cherotich literally control this race. Look at how they was tried to stride toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder with Beatrice Chepkoech, something that